Hi, my name is Linda Lee Jolly and I'm the director at the Troy Hainer Cultural Center. With me today, I have some of our staff members. Uh, Leona Sargent is our exhibit coordinator. Good morning. David Wyan is our assistant director. Good morning. Thank you for being here. And Terry Lynn Meese is our program coordinator. Good morning, Terry Lynn. Before we begin today, I do want to uh, take a moment to thank the citizens of the Troy City School District for um, passing the renewal levy for the Troy Hainer Cultural Center. Uh, we appreciate your continued support, and as we head into our um, 40th year of uh, serving the community as your community cultural center, uh, we want you to know that we are dedicated to being the best stewards of that money that we can possibly be, and that we will continue to provide a wide variety of um, cultural and educational um, opportunities to the community. So thank you very much for your continued support. And uh, the fall is a fine example of what the Hainer Center is able to do. We had very many events, and I would certainly consider the entire fall season a success to this point, with, uh, including the Boo Bash, where we had over 400 children come and participate. Right. It was quite a day. That quite a fun. day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And everything else we did seemed to um, have a magic touch to it, right? Well, we went to the uh, BB River Boats with our second... Um uh, Hainer hits the road, right. filled two buses, two bus loads of people out here in front of Hainer. It was just an exciting day, and fortunately the weather cleared up once we got to the right. boat, and it was just a beautiful that day. That cathedral was absolutely astonishing. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. 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 And of course plans are already in the works for um, another trip in the spring. Absolutely. Right? So people absolutely. that missed that one can look forward to the next one. And Terry Lynn? Yeah, we had a Rhythm and Roots Festival this year mm -hmm. with uh, seven different musical groups and just music all day long. It was a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, we had crazy weather, but you know, the Hainer is an amazing place. We were able to take that festival and bring it into the house and we still had our two stages going on all day uh, just wonderful feedback it was, it was a and a day. nice turnout mm -hmm. a nice turnout even for probably the worst weather day of the fall so so um, it is your house still and we have certainly hope that people will continue to come and enjoy it and take advantage of uh, the things that are being offered um, and it's always a good time to visit Leona the through our eyes exhibit is on the walls right it is we have a hundred and three photographs um, by 56 really talented regional photographers. Um, we've actually uh, had really good attendance and folks are just enjoying the exhibit and I'm getting all kinds of really good compliments or comments. Good. And now these are the entries from a competition that we held, correct? Correct, and they are. Yes, and together they paint just a really nice picture of life in the Miami Valley and I understand we've made some sales. Yes, we have. We've sold, um, we just sold our tenth. See, photograph over the weekend. That's yeah. great. They're beautiful pictures, and I think that that really says something about the quality of the exhibit and what's on the right. wall. So hopefully people come to see that, and how long it, will it be up? It will be up until November 29th. That is the last day, and then it's time to prepare for the next exhibit. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then, Terry Lynn, one of the things that the Hainer does as far as their educational outreach is concerned that the public doesn't always see are the workshops and uh, activities that we set up for students uh, in the schools. And I understand that we have an upcoming workshop for choral students. Yeah. Is that correct? Right. November the 12th, uh, the Hainer is going to... Uh, put on a, a workshop for the choir students. This is under the direction of Rachel Sagona. Okay. And uh, and this is this is something we do every year. We do a different segment of their musical program. Um, but this year we're having Evan Feist come. Evan Feist is um, he's he's a quite uh, an exceptional vocal coach, and he is also the lead instructor at Purchase College conservatory for their summer program. Okay. So he, he's going to come and work with the kids during the day and then uh, on the next Sunday, the 15th, there'll be a concert so that we can we can see the kids and what they've learned and uh, of course they always come out of these workshops energized and excited and uh, so that'll be a that'll be a so this is like a master class, and of course, that for everybody that loves to sing, you come away with that kind of experience with um, an enhanced knowledge or a new right, technique right, or something right. like that. But I think this is also really important for the um, students that um, 
maybe are looking ahead to a career or higher education in, yeah, right. in music. To be able to offer this kind of opportunity to our music students, right. to, to value them, and to, to be able to provide a little something, a little different perspective, you know, by bringing somebody in that, that's maybe a national instructor, you know, and give these kids the opportunity to just explore. That's great. You know, right. yeah. That is just great. Yeah. That's great. And then uh, speaking of exploring, uh, one of the more <laughs> popular things that we've been doing um, for the past few years is our film series. And right. I understand yeah. we're exploring classical films. Yes. Um, classics, I should classics, say. Classic yes. films. Uh, yeah, this um, November 13th, uh, Friday, we are having um, our next film in our series. Uh, this one's a little more modern, but it's still a classic. It's the 19... <laughs> hate to hear that. It dates me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 1977 um, dramatic, com or, yeah, dramatic comedy. Um, Goodbye. The Goodbye Girl. There you yeah, go. the romantic okay. comedy, The Goodbye Girl. Um, it stars Richard Dreyfus and Marsha Mason and... Um, Richard Dreyfuss actually won an Oscar for Best Actor, and at that time, that that year, he was the youngest ever to receive the Oscar for Best Actor. That's mm -hmm. great. That's great. And it is a standout film. I mean, I, right. I probably saw it when it was new, and I still have a vivid memory of it being a very uh, humorous side and a very touching right, story. Right. So it, it's got a lot going for it. Plus. Yeah. Free popcorn. Right. The film, is, <laughs> the film is free, and um, so are the popcorn and the soda, and we have a good time. We really okay. do. We have a good okay. time at the film. And then, of course, any season, all year round, we can't help but mention the fact that there are still a lot of Hainer classes on the schedule organizing right now. And people can find information about all these activities and the classes uh, on our website, which is troyhainer.org. And so we hope people will check in because, uh, you know, the classes are filling. We've got some new instructors, some unique art experiences, and some get ready for the holiday things, um, I think, on the class list, too. So we want to take care of that. Um, uh, and speaking of holidays, we are moving in that direction a right. bit, including uh, it's time to be thinking, I hate to even say it, but it's time to think about shopping. Mm -hmm. And uh, David, we have the ideal place for unique gifts, is Absolutely. that correct? Absolutely. For the fifth year, the Hainer will host um, this year the Hainer Gift Gallery, formerly called FAVE, the Fine Artist Vendor Exchange. But we changed the name up a little bit this year, thinking that it was more representative of what we have here at Hainer as far as shopping opportunities. So it's November 21st okay. from 10 to 4, and the house will just be uh, filled. The uh, three floors plus the art studio with all kinds of vendors and fine artists. Many of them uh, were with us last year, but we have some new ones also. Just to, to name a few, Frank Brower with his uh, gemstones, uh, Rick Brown, Missy Hines paints uh, furniture and cards, Sharon McLean last year was in our art studio and had all kind of wonderful handmade board games. She'll be back with us. Um, the country uh, workshop artists always have just wonderful stuff. They'll be with us again. And some of our vendors include Pampered Chef, um, Karen Perk will be here with her McGuffey Spices, Origami Owl, Virgil's Fine Soaps from Tip City was a big, big seller last year. And if you were in our um, art studio last year, do you remember the wonderful smell of the maple syrup? And um, they'll be back with us, Sugar Grove Maple Products. And then Friends of Hainer will also have booth where we, we will sell our um, commemorative items that we have here at Hainer, plus mm -hmm. our Hainer CD, a Christmas uh, CD to just make a wonderful gift. Right. And you want that early. You want to buy your Hainer <laughs> holiday CD right. early Absolutely. so that you can enjoy it through the entire um, Christmas season. So it's right. this the the gift gallery is fun for several reasons. And one is, is that those little unique boutique um, uh, merchants mm -hmm. are all in one place. Right. You know, right. so it's fun to be able to gather up those things that you know that they're going to have that um, will be appreciated gifts. And then by having the fine artists in the house, uh, you know, those are one of a kind gifts. Absolutely. And that, that will really make your Christmas shopping, your Christmas giving special to be able to have. 
um, something that is that unique. So hopefully people will come out. What's the date again? November 21st. November 21st. Okay. It'll be a shop till you drop. It'll right. be great. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and of course, the music continues in the house. And Terry Lynn, I know we have a couple really nice concerts uh, in November. Can you tell us about the homecoming concert? Yeah, uh, the homecoming concert is uh, something that we do annually. This is hosted by Mary Ann Cornell. And uh, what, what she does is she honors a local musician um, that, uh, and, and just kind of gives them some, some, uh, a chance for a recital. Right. So um, this year it's going to be... Um, Jim Riley. Jim Riley, yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Jim Riley is a baritone, and he sings with the Melody Men. So we're going to have a, a, a vocal offering this mm -hmm. time for homecoming. And uh, Beth Peters is going to accompany him on the piano, and then Mary Ann Cornell and Mary Blouser will do a couple of piano duets, too. So it'll be a nice day. That'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be fun. And, and then we have our Drawing Room Series concert, which is uh, November the 29th. Okay. The Drawing Room Concert Series is something that we do in the East Room, and, and we use the East Room as a sort of listening room. It's a very intimate chamber concert. And uh, you get an opportunity to experience uh, these classical, uh, classical music in a kind of a different way. Uh, a sort of up close, you know, you can hear the musician breathing. So this, this November concert is going to be the Western Ohio Tuba Quartet, which will be a sort of a different cast on chamber music. That is unusual. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. It's two tubas and two euphoniums. Okay. So it is a big sound. In our East Room? In the East Room. East room. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big, resonant sound. It just kind of gets you vibrating a little bit. But these folks are really amazing musicians. They have great sense of control. So it's not just like, you know, tuba as loud right. as you can play it. These, these people are amazing musicians. Mm -hmm. They're all four of them are, um, they were at music educators at one time. Okay. And they all four are currently members of the Ohio Valley Brass Symphony. Okay. So, um, and let me, let me mention their names. It's Francis Laws, Ted Shuttleworth, Michael Gallahu, and Denny Seafried. And these, these four gentlemen are all local to this area. Some are in Pequa, some are in Troy. But uh, it's, I think it's a concert that they really enjoy doing, too, when they come to the Hainer. And, just and they have been day. here before. And you, you know, mm -hmm. they have a they bit of a following, even, yeah. actually. And it is a, a very different um, instrumentation than you think of for chamber music. But mm -hmm. they are very musical. It, it just right. it really is a nice show. And you know the thing I like about the um, uh, Chamber Concert Series, it is a weekday night. It's Tuesday evenings, so the yeah. last Tuesday of every month, right. except December. Is that except correct? Except December. Yeah, yeah. Through, through the, the school, school year. year. Okay. And, uh, you know, it kind of breaks up the week to, you know, get out mm -hmm. and do something that's totally different than your everyday routine. Right. So come and out and enjoy you. the music, right. the have beautiful a, have a house. music going on yeah. in your head yeah. for the rest of the week. Yeah, yeah. it's really nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, so hopefully, you know, we'll have a nice turnout for that, as we have been. It, it, that's been a nice following for the uh, Chamber Series. And then, of course... Um, as we move to the end, the holidays it's time for come. Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> holidays come early at Hainer because because our Christmas celebrations are really the first part of December, and right. we are gearing up to decorating the house and being ready for our holiday open house, which is the first weekend in right. December. Yeah. So, house Christmas decorating. Christmas decorating is. Our decorators are anxious. Are they? <laughs> I gotta tell you. Kind of uh, ready to start. Yeah, they are yeah. ready to start. Oh, but, um, most of our decorators um, are returning. We have one new group that's doing one of the rooms. But other than that, they're all returning decorators. Okay. And I know um, some of these people start thinking about it the day they take the decorations down for the oh, next year. Oh, they do. Year. Yes. They do. Yeah. They're, they're buying just, at the sales. Yeah. 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 They're Absolutely. doing that already now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, yeah, they're very anxious. They're ready to 
to get things done. It's really an interesting process because we try to set the theme, which this year is homemade Christmas, right? We'll talk about that in a minute. But we set that theme in the spring and line up the decorators, and they never really come together as a committee. They just, they're designers, they're community groups, they're uh, Christmas enthusiasts. Florists. Yeah, yeah, floral designers. And they just take that idea and they run with it, and we don't see them until they show up (laughs) the Monday after Christmas to start decorating. And then it's like seven trees and all the mantles and I always say you know if you if you don't keep moving on Christmas decorating week you're apt to end up in tinsel yeah Yeah. it's just crazy (laughs) here but it takes one week and by the time we get down to the end of the week and ready for open house it's gorgeous in here it's always beautiful but do you know to add a layer of Christmas is just amazing so but holiday um Oh, the theme this year is homemade Christmas, and I understand that we're asking the public to participate. Right. This year's exhibit is actually a juried competition, and it's called A Handmade Christmas, and we're asking folks to, um, you know, if they have a handmade Christmas decoration that they would just really like to share with the citizens of Troy and have displayed at the Hainer Center, possibly, you know, for the month, this is the time. Uh, this is the time. Okay. Yeah, this is something that's a little bit different. Um, folks can get more information on TroyHainer.org, where they can come in and pick up a prospectus that has the entry form and the rules and everything on it. Um, what kind of uh, items are you looking for? Um, our specific guidelines are that it has to be a Christmas-themed decoration. Okay. Um, it does not have to be something that you made. It can be something that your grandmother made or something that is like a family thing that's passed from generation to generation, Uh but it has to be handmade. It can be two-dimensional, like something that hangs on the wall, or it can be Um, three-dimensional. I know a couple of the things that are coming. One thing that's coming is a uh, a handmade... um, replica of a log cabin that oh. is a Christmas decoration. So hmm. it's kind of the the sky's the limit within reason. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be able well, to But I'm know. I'm seeing people pick come in and pick up the entry forms, right. you know, and their wheels are turning. So I think that it's gonna be a really unique uh, display and of course that's right. in the where our exhibits usually are in the hallways and in the gallery room right. in addition to all of the decorations that the um, Christmas decorating committee is going right. to bring so it will be something yeah. to and see the so you, days that we're yeah. going to accept things are Friday November 27th and Saturday November 28th which is Thanksgiving weekend, weekend. Okay. and it's from 9 to noon. And I know a lot of folks are traveling, and if that's the case, then get your neighbor to drop yours off. Okay. All right. So that that's – all right. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing it. And then, of course, the culmination is a Hainer tradition, a 39-year <laughs> Hainer tradition. The very first time when, when the Troy Hainer Cultural Center became the cultural center, the first time they opened the doors to the public was in Christmas 1975. And when they opened the doors, they were still um, cleaning, wiping down the stairway way as the people were walking through the door, trying to get their last finishing touches on um, a project that they were so proud of. And the Christmas decorating a co- was comprised of one tree in the solarium. So we have certainly evolved oh, yeah. <laughs> a long way through that. But these two days for the holiday open house are just fun every year. The doors are open, there's no cost for people to come, and there's a lot going on. And particularly Saturday has has evolved into Children's Day. Children's and, Day. Right. Oh yes. my gosh. It's loud, it's raucous, it is Packed with children all over the place. Children having a good time. Having a good time. With their families. It's just fun. So there's there's two shows uh, with Mad Cat Puppet Theater. These are always so popular. This year they're going to do Under the Bonsai Tree, which is a story about how courage and strength sometimes comes in small packages which is a nice theme for children. Absolutely. So if, uh, if you want to get tickets, the tickets are free, but we ask everybody to have tickets. But you can start at 9 o'clock the morning of the 5th, mm-hmm. 
getting your tickets so that your kids have a chance to see the show. Although, were we not, you know, everybody gets to see it. So, but um, the tickets are given away starting at nine o'clock. So anyway, there's two shows of Under the Bonsai Tree. There is uh, Santa Claus in here in the study. Right. So, and just, just to help your kids be patient and wait for the show to start and their, their turn for Santa, there's all kinds of arts and crafts in the East Room mm -hmm. for the children. And it's the just, art studio. And, and the, the art, art studio. studio. Yeah. Yes. Just, we don't want, it's not so much fun to wait in line for Santa. Yeah. So, you know, we have a number system where we call people up in groups, so you're waiting maybe in a short line. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, you have the opportunity to enjoy your children and make these crafts together. And I'm sure they're going to have the homemade Christmas kind of theme to go with yeah. it this year and a pianist we usually have a pianist oh, yes. music in the Susie background Susie Palomar yeah, yeah. so in the East it's really well, nice. the kids are doing their arts and crafts <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's really it's all a, right. a so, lovely rich day but if you want a nicer mm -hmm. quieter more peaceful time <laughs> to come and see the house and the decorations what well, the grand opening of our Christmas decorations yes. is actually the Sunday afternoon from 1 to 5 and one of the highlights of that is that we do have musicians performing throughout the afternoon Afternoon, which adds a nice dimension to the house. Yes, there's there's so so Sunday you open the doors and you gasp at the absolute beauty of the house, and then you, you you're welcome to take a tour and just kind of spend the day, bring your family and just have a lovely day, refreshments, and of course in the East Room the music all day long, and the music starts with the high school choir, the Troy Tones. It's a it's an a cappella choir. <clears throat> and uh, this is also directed by Rachel Sagona. Nice way to start the day because there's all that high school energy and that, that lovely big sound. I mean, there's like 25 kids in the, in the, uh, in the Troy Tones. So that starts at 1 o'clock. And then this year we're going to have a, a little set with uh, the Hainer staff. We're calling it a staff Hello. party. We have, <laughs> we have so many uh, musical people. Uh, Leona and I are yeah, we're sadly clap. excluded from this show. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, this will be Linda Lee playing her new dulcimer. And what's the other instrument? Oh, well, I have a hammer dulcimer, too. You're bringing I a do. hammer? Oh, mm -hmm, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And David Wine, of course, will be the glue to the group on the piano. Rachel Bosey will sing a couple of songs. She's got a beautiful voice. Isn't yes, she, she part of the Dayton... Um, Opera. 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 Of course, yeah. Yeah. Opera. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, she's a gorgeous voice, so it, it will be a real treat. It, it certainly will. And as a special little something um, to the staff party, uh, we've invited Clint Meyer of the Troy Public Radio to join us and sing a number. Too. So, uh -huh. and he's got group. a nice resonant voice, yes, so that'll be a lot of fun. The fun voice on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next group will be uh, Leanna George. <clears throat> she she will and Elaine newcomer. They're going to play their harps. These are folk harps, oh, okay. from what I understand. Be a lovely little folk harp interlude. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have um, Dulcy Days with. Uh, a hammered dulcimer, an auto harp, and a guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, so they they just always do a nice job. Mm -hmm. Wonderful little group. And then Paul Nelson will be be here at four o'clock. And Paul Nelson is a local fella. He's an artist, and he creates these beautiful woodland flutes, hand carved woodland flutes. They're just gorgeous. Uh, and he also does these crazy fun little cigar box guitars. So he's going to play both of those oh. in his set. And then um, lastly, we're going to have uh, Jimmy Allen, and he's going to do some kind of crazy country uh, harmonica, guitar, jazzy sort of something he's going to close the day with. <laughs> so he's still working on that in his head, and we can't wait to see it. But that'll, that'll close the day at 5 o'clock. That's great. Such a wide variety of, of instrumentation that you're talking about and all those just those wonderful holiday sounds that really mm -hmm. get everybody in the mood. So <laughs> so hopefully people will just come out in great numbers and enjoy the Hainer and make a visit to the Hainer and the open house. That will that will spark your right. holiday um, spirit for sure. And it's uh, a great time to see those yeah. decorations for the it first is. time. Um, with refreshments and music. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like we can sit here much longer because we have a lot to do. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so we just need to go and get busy and get ready. And okay. thank you very much for being here today and sharing all of that news. And uh, that is The View from Hainer.